Hey guys, do you guys hear any disturbance from my mic? I don't know. I don't know if my mic is like all jacked up or not. If someone could just comment down below somewhere. I think there's a disturbance. Let me. What up, guys? What up? N not sure why the comments are taking. Sounds a bit static. Okay. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this instead. Don't know what's going on with my mic. But hello, everyone. Welcome to our live stream. Um, I'm going to open up my little mail day real quick. And then we have SGC. We have PSA. I'm super excited. Just want to say what's up. Let's see what's going on. Who's who's in here? The Whale Live On. What's good? Southern Soccer Idiot. What's good? What's good? What's up? What's up, Peter? What's up, Hayden? Yeah, I'm gonna, Fernando. Yeah, guys, I'm going to just uh, take it off and just do this instead. Um Bravo Journey, what's up, man? What's up, Brian? Let's see. Marks, what's going on? What's up? How? Let's see. Fernay, cheers from Belgium. Cheers as well. What's up, Vince? We have a few Belgian people here. That's awesome. Belgians, I mean. I'm waiting for card hours SGC return. Not here. Not right now. This is different. This is a little different. This is um this was submitted. Let me see. Maybe I could go through my grading. I'm going to share you guys something. Hang on one second. So this grading is from August 4th. So 16 days. So we're not doing 16 business days, like literally 16 days from SGC, uh, putting it in their system and then getting it out really fast. It's amazing. Fernando says, super new to the channel. I love football and I would love to learn more about collecting cards. Well, you're at the right place. We got Dan. What's up, Dan? Brad's up here too. Yes, we are doing BGS subs, but only because only for certain situations, like we don't get discounts, right? So if you could find someone that could give you discounts, probably better to go with them. But we do do reviews and everything. So we, we do that as well. So all right, let me just open this real quick and hopefully the stragglers will come in. You know, I don't want to do anything. Did anybody watch the Ronaldinho video I put out, by the way? <laughs> oh, I'm just really curious. It was a very different video that we did. So I ordered this. I ordered this bad boy literally right after, right after everything that went down. Let's see. Check this out. Let me see. I mean, how iconic is this? Do you guys get any footage from the private Ronaldinho dinner? Nope, I did not. I did not. We didn't go that. We don't have the bag for that. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we could get uh, have more money. Because <laughs> it was expensive just to meet him. And honestly, I'm, we're just lucky that we were here. So is this autofocus like all jacked up? Yeah. Hold on. Just one second, people. I'm just trying to get everything. All right. What is going on with my autofocus today? All right, there we go. All right. So, got these going on. I'm probably going to grade these. Not a big fan of how they look. A lot of things are going on. And yeah, so we're gonna go with PSA submissions first. The reason why is because y'all been waiting for so long. Okay, so this is standard submission and some express submissions. One of our express submissions came through uh, last week. I picked up everything up the same day. And the craziest thing about this express submission is that it is what it was our first express submission ever and it was the last to come back <laughs> after um psa shut down so i don't even know how that works 
appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. It, it was a much different video, so that's why I'm just like, oh. Let's see. Here, let me do this real quick. So we're all here. And I'm going to put the names up on who's who because I am... We shipped this order out literally, I mean, it was months ago, months ago. So we'll see how it goes. I think I saw some grades, but I didn't get to see all the grades. Hopefully we got some bangers for y'all. I know a few of these are at Pele, so let's get it. Oh, uh, let's see. How should I do this? I will use here. I'll tell this. I'll use this right here to kind of put everything more suspense. All right, so first card is the 2020 Erling Holland Magic Tax Purple Refractor. That's actually really nice. Really nice. So I know he, you know, Joshi put this. This is actually sick. This this uh this tops chrome type deal. Sad we're not gonna, you know. All right, and next one is oh PSA five uh messy sticker. This is rough. I wonder why. That is really rough. Okay. All right. Next one is, oh, actually, I'm, I'm so bad at this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Next one. Banners. Let's see. This is, this is my boy Hamada next. Man, I don't understand sometimes with these stickers, man. What is this going on? What is this? PC5? Jeez. Well, Josh, not, not all is lost. This match tax purple is pretty dope. It's out $2.99. I think there's actually a, a pretty good market for this. So not too bad. Next one. Oh my God. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. 2017. Tops Chrome Blue Refractor PSA 10. Gorgeous. Oh man. 69 out 150. That Bruno is crazy. Woo! What a start to his campaign. Next one. PSA 9 Optic Hollow. These are very hard to gem mint. Very, very hard to gem mint. And then what's next? PSA 9, Optic Hollow. Oh, man. But there's no pop control. Let's see what's next. PSA 6, Pele. Crazy. I don't know. This is just a mixed bag out here, man. This is a 1979 Pele. These things, see, I feel bad for Hamada because he sent these in when these PSA 10s were going for like 4 or 5K. And this is the risk of when you send it to grading. You know, it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. You don't know where you're going to get it sometimes. I'm not trying to bash on PSA, but just, I just feel bad for the consumers. Next one, PSA 8. All right. I think this is basically all of it. So I think I should be doing this flipping. PSA 8. Okay, he's getting all the 8s. Okay. PSA 8, oh my God. All right, PSA 8, all right. Yeah, stickers has been really rough. Stickers, if you're if you're submitting stickers, you gotta be careful. Gotta be really careful. I, it's, it's just tough now. I think BGS is probably the easiest on stickers, just a FYI for y'all. PSA 9, all right, we're getting there. We're getting there, okay, okay. Come on, we got three more. We got this, we got this. PSA 9, come on, let's break a 10, boys. Come on. PSA 8, oh my God, this is just ridiculous. Come on, I feel it, I feel it. This has to be it. PSA 8, oh man, that's rough. So they gave a PSA 8. So two 8s or three eight, or four 8s. One 6, two 9s. That's rough. 
This is really, really rough. A PSA six. Not too bad. I mean, the PSA ten Bruno Fernandez really helps a lot. Right here. So that's not too bad at all. You know, that's the thing with Express. I've, I've noticed so far, boys, Express has been super, super rough. I mean, it, it's a, incredibly rough. Super Express has been very consistent on my terms, uh, in my opinion. But let's go to the next one. We're going to go to Troy. Try 415 cards. You all know about Troy. This is his standard submission. We'll see how this goes. Let's see. All right. Hey, Troy's still here. Okay, so let's go. I know this is like kind of his like worst worser batch uh of the other ones because the other ones um we he sent on our express came back i think he got like a a few good grades but like you know, a few nines so we'll see how this how this uh goes on just in niesa psa seven okay Dana. okay what this tells me is that everything was pretty much perfect except the centering <laughs> if this gets a psa seven all right PSA 8, okay. Don't know what's going on with the autofocus, but all good. Another Iniesta. I make already could tell the setter was pretty rough on this one. PSA 7. So, okay, yeah, this this is what what's still what's going on is like everything was pretty good except the centering. <laughs> oh wow, the surface is pretty messed up. I wonder how you got a seven on this one. Yeah, this I don't I can't tell if you guys can see that, but all right. Oops. Phil Foden. PSA nine. Don Rest Optic. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think this is Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez, PSA four. Okay. Don't change a thing, PSA. Just kill us on the stickers, huh? And then last one. Hopefully we don't get any PSA crazy, crazy PSA ones. Like the shabby, PSA seven, not too bad. So this is a standard submission. So let's keep going with more standard. Let's see. So this is Ant R L. I believe he is in the Netherlands. Hit banner. Okay. All right. I know he has some really cool things. I just don't remember what he got, so we'll see. Oh, Johan Cruyff PSA six. That is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Woo! All righty. Anyone that's new to or to collecting, got you got to pick up Johan Cruyff. Oh, this is nineteen ninety five. You see this nineteen ninety five? R oh man, R nine. I am I am stoked. It doesn't matter what grade you get. You get it in slap, you will be okay. PSA six, woo! Still, still really good. Still really good. Nice. David Beckham, I don't know, nineteen ninety seven. I'm assuming. PSA five. Wow, this got. Oh, okay. There's a crease in here. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. So more PSV things. I'm assuming this probably should be more R9. PSA 8. Oh, what a beautiful sticker. Yo, Anthony, I might have to hit you up and buy some of these. This is actually sick. What an action shot. All right. What's next is PSA 9. Let's go. Let's go. 
137. I'm assuming he's probably like a pop. Like he probably controls controls all the pop on this one. This is beautiful. Congratulations, Anthony. And then the, we got the top shots. This is actually my some of my favorite ones. So I'm really excited to see what he's gonna get. PSA eight. Yo, strong grade. Strong grade. Does anybody know what's the highest grade for these top shots? Weird looking cards. Um close to their rookies is something I'm so interested in. I'm gonna look this up real quick. Maybe I could like she don't know if um share screen window. Let's go to either right here. I just want to see. It's 1996. Okay, so it's pop 43, 19 only PSA 8 or yeah, only 19 PSA 8, so not too bad, not too bad. And then a PSA 7, round it off. Not too bad, Anthony. I think the rough one was definitely the – these are really hard to grade, these PSA 6 right here. This proof is really sick, by the way. Super sweet. Um, not sure really what happened with this Beckham. This is the one thing I don't like about P like just group submitting is like you just PSA man. When they grow, when they when they grade on like such a huge scale, it's just like you don't know what you're, they're gonna do with your cards. All right, so this is flipping Steve. Let me do this real quick. All right, this is a Bobby Charlton, I'm assuming? All right, PSA 8, not too bad, not too bad. I still think R. Charlton. I still think he's undervalued. So this is 1958. So if you guys notice, this is two different backs right here. Let's see if they if uh, PSA is calling this 1959. 1959. Okay, so they are doing it. Okay, good, good, good. But it's a PSA five though. Okay, I know he told me that he just want to get these um, graded, so he wasn't expecting crazy grades. 1986. Very, very uh, good set to look into. Really good set to look into. Diego Maradona. PSA six. Then Zlatan Ibrahimovic, PSA 6. And we're just hitting all the 6 in here. Eh? This one I'm really excited about. Let's see. This is Housie. I think Housie's in the night. Is in here. Let's see. Oh. I'm like sweating, boys. Because, like, I'm, I don't know why it's so hot. I mean, we're in Florida, but, like, it's crazy hot. All right, so this one is an older one. 1954 A, NBC, Ferret, Puskas, PSA 1. I actually love this. Oh, shoot, I didn't even see this. I actually really love this. This is a player that I do not have in my collection yet, and I need, I need to add him in my collection. So congratulations, Hal. And then let's get into the SGC stuff. That is it for the PSA stuff. Um Really, I, we have some crazy SEC stuff coming through and PSA. Let's open it real quick. Let's see. I'm out of, yeah, you were. Uh, check it out. You're, I think you were one of the first ones. Um, 
You hit a really sick Bruno, I'll tell you that. That's all I'm going to put out there. <laughs> yeah, the Puskos is really sick. Okay, so this is, this is my first time opening up, like, an actual, like, SGC, like, just box right here. So they got a tuxedo stuff right here, right? And then whatever they couldn't fit in the box, I guess they put this in here. So. All right. So Bravo was asking, he didn't submit that one Ron Ronaldinho. Yes, yeah, so that Ronaldinho actually came back in a non-holder. So um, we actually got two non-holders in our submission. One of them was the Ronaldinho. I think it was like the Japanese version. And we're, we decided we're going to send that SGC. And then also, I believe how actual actually had a really cool P Pele piece. They didn't want to slab it either. So we're going to send an SGC and see what they do. So this is a group sub as well, but I do have some personal submissions in here. I don't know who's who, so I'm not going to be able, like, it's kind of all mixed up. I just, I know exactly whose card is who, though, so. All right. Let's open this up. This is our first time. This is my submission right here. This is some of my cards. Let me take this out of here, and then banner, no banner. It's going to be just you and us. So Brian Hill, I heard I, that's how he was supposed to say his name. New Spurs player. Um, I know he's a lot of people are very, very high on his potential. So it's a mosaic. Bought this raw on eBay. SGC 10. Let's go. Okay. Mosaics is super hard to grade. So getting a 10 is really nice. Really happy about this one. And Dominic Shobosly. I know he's playing right now. Got to go watch him after this. This is his uh, top score. Tops Chrome stuff? Yeah, Tops Chrome, Future Stars. SGC 10. I like it. I like it. Okay. Craziest part. The craziest part about these two is I actually bought... Oh, wait, hold on. The, the craziest thing about these two... The craziest thing about these two is like I bought these two on, on eBay raw. So I'm actually really surprised I actually got 10s. But all right. Let's go next. Let's just open this one up. All right, so we're going from the back side right here. So some of y'all might be thinking like, hey, is SGC easier to grade than PSA? I would probably say so. Um, but one thing I, I, I do notice is that they take centering pretty seriously. So actually, let me do this. Just be patient with me, boys. Maybe this is, will help. I don't know. This focus is killing me right now. Marks, it is currently $28 per card. So we take care of the shipping and everything um, to go to SGC. All you have to take care of is like the cost of grading and then also um, whatever it takes to ship to us. And we ship it back to you at your, at your cost. So. Any recommendations for starting out a collection? Should I purchase wax or try eBay? Local card show intent does not really mess with football. Um, I actually would say go for singles, single singles. Wax, the problem with wax is a lot of people say, oh, they're gonna buy wax to hold it, but you 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 all end up freaking ripping it. So uh, I don't know about that. All right, so Sergio Death, this is a um autograph, autograph, 43 out of 50. Auto 10, as you see, 8.5. I do remember this was kind of messed up. And we're still experimenting with SGC. So, like, there's some cards you're going to be like, oh, wow, that's a, that's a pretty bad grade or that's not as good as a grade that you think it would be. And the reason why is because we're just testing out what what do they, you know, what what's what do they take um, the most serious about? Because, like, I know with PSA, they, they have their own little recommendations. And BGS, um, I actually would argue BGS is pretty easier to grade out of everybody. So this is from Lewis uh, in LA. Okay. SGC seven. I actually do not know much about these stickers. This is Housie. So this is how. All right. 
SGC seven as well. More SGC seven. So with stickers, they're really, really tough. Really tough. I think one thing people need to understand is SGC, I feel like is even worse on stickers than on PSA. SGC 7.5. As you can tell, the centering is really bad and they take that to account as well. Last one, SGC 7.5. So that's kind of tough. That's kind of tough. All right, let me take that out. How's I would definitely recommend right now if you're submitting stickers, just be prepared. It has to be perfect. If it's not perfect, it's gonna be rough. Okay, so egg war. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. All right, let's just do it here. Okay. So Eduardo Kamavinga. 15 out of 175. SGC 9, not too bad. It's a beautiful sticker. Though. Yeah, Marks, I would say if you're if it's not perfectly centered, um, forget about it, man. SGC is so tough on stickers. So tough. That's that's literally like it's a small sample size in our on our part, but that's what I've noticed, man. SGC 9.5, Diego Maradona historical ticket. This is Lewis's stuff from LA. Love these slabs. David Beckham, I remember this wasn't as, this was kind of messed up. 8.5, okay. And then this is a Mason Greenwood. He's been pretty good actually. Really, really good. SGC 9.5. Okay, let's go. Not too bad. Oh, dude, you see, y'all see this right here? That's so messed up, SGC. That is so jacked up. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, well, this is mine, by the way. Um, if you're following me on TikTok, you'll probably notice that I actually, uh, I pulled this card on live. So, and I, when I pulled it on live, I was like, wow, that's crazy. And I didn't realize um, the quality was pretty good in my opinion. So we'll see what we get. SGC 10, let's go. Let's go. Okay. That is nice. I am definitely trying to collect more Messi because once he starts playing, People are gonna just completely forget. I uh, forget uh, how how Louis Gunn is like a farmer league. They're gonna see all these nice goals. Let's see. Let me see because like these were mixed up. I remember. So this is this is Louis. I, I know I know exactly which grades y'all got. So so because like they were like mixed it up for some reason, man. All right. So as you see, nine point five. Okay. Oh, this is actually Dan's. This is Dan's, actually. Because I remember there's two SGC. So this is Dan's. So congratulations, Dan. Pedri. SGC 9. Yeah, Mosaic is tough, boys. Mosaic is really tough to gen. Let me put this over here. But where's my other stuff? Oh, okay. So this is the other Pedri. This is Lewis's. SGC 9. Okay. And the last one here, more Mosaic. This is from our break, actually, I remember. SGC 9, I remember that. This is Dan. All right. So last one, last bit of piece. Ugh. All right, let me answer some questions real quick. Okay, what do you think about Topps Crystal? I, I like Topps Crystal. I like Topps Crystal. Um, it's annoying that SGC cases don't sit flush with PSA. Not sure what that means, actually. Got a BGS 11 collection on the Oro. We're not. Oh, nice. BGS 8. Check the silence they got. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Pedro. That's tough. That's tough. I actually love that 2011 little uh, set. 
with Messi and Ronaldo. If you guys don't know about that, check it out. I actually love it. But I think people don't realize how much there is of those, so don't buy too high. Did you do breakdown opinions on SGC versus PSA already? Not like a formal one, but everybody has a pretty similar opinion on it on YouTube, Eduardo. So check that out. PSA Sixers get glued heat to show wet spots on front and back. And gets, yeah, that's something that I'm not a big fan of. So what he's talking about is these right here. You see, I don't know if you can see it. It's like stuck. It is like bubbles. That kind of blows. Not sure how the long-term effect is, though. All right. How long is the turnaround for PSA Express right now? I'm not so sure yet. Afandi, um, I already have a few Express that came out or, or I set, and they're in grading within a few days. So I'll let you know probably when I get mine back, and I'll be able to give you like a very clear answer. But all my Express uh, group submissions are done, though. Why ask what makes Mosaic such a hard grade? The reason why is because their surface is just notorious, notorious. Um, just always scratches, always bubbles. It's never good. You bring in Tops Inception. I don't even have a box, man. I don't have a box. <laughs> I, I missed that boat. I would love to. I would love to pull a Messi uh, and Ronaldo auto. So that'd be pretty cool. All right. So let's get into this one. These, these are mines. Yunus Musa SGC 9. Not too bad. Maybe Prax is super hard to gem. And another SGC 9. I'll be honest with you. I thought we would get a little bit better than this, but it's all right. And this is mine as well, Shabby Simon. So if you're on our live when I broke Tops Merlin Chrome, you know we, we pulled this. SGC 9.5, Shabby Simon's not too bad. Not too bad. And this is like our hit card, I remember. It was our hit card. All right. Francisco Trincal, 13 out of 25. Wolves player. SGC 9.5, not too bad at all. Shoot, this is actually nice. Although he doesn't really deserve an RC logo, but that's another 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 uh, conversation that we don't need to have right now. And this is the rest is Lewis. So again, we've had a lot of like slabs come through. So let's finish this off perfect. SGC 9.5 purple refractor, Jude Bellingham. That's awesome. Okay. And then Jude Bellingham Bundesliga again. SGC 10, let's go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's go with Pedri. Let's go with Pedri. What's going on, Pedri? 9.5, Don Russ. See, this isn't a really bad play because it's only $28, right? You know, you're not like dying. See, if you sent this to PSA for like $300, it sucks, you know? And this is my last card right here. I bought this raw as well. <laughs> Maybe this video should be about how I bought raw and then got some good grades out of it. <laughs> SGC 9.5, pink, pink refractor. That's beautiful, Ryan Graven Birch. So there's a few things that we learned. Still, PSA is still not consistent, man. Still not consistent. Uh, it's it's tough. It's tough out there. And then also SGC, if you're doing stickers, I think I'm, I, it's pretty clear that you gotta be careful with stickers with SGC. Um, it must be a crease. It has to be creases that people are there. They like they really kind of harp on and centering. But other than that, though, I'm not surprised by any of the grades that we got here. So, not too bad. All right, let me answer a few more questions, and I'm gonna probably hop off. Uh, let's see. Thoughts on the Steve Aoki set? Is there a place to look up how many of that set was printed? No, they don't release really uh, sets. So. They don't really talk about how much was printed in a set usually. They keep that under wraps. 
Brian asked, uh, Brian, Brian says, uh, PSA is ridiculous right now. I have no trust in them, sadly. Um, l listen, that's, it's, it's a, it's tough, right? Like PSA has been doing some weirdly, some weird things. Um, but I still like them more out of everybody else. It's just when, when you scale, it's tough, right? Cause you don't want them a grade easier either. If that makes sense. Cause it just kind of devalues the point of grading, but I just don't, I don't like how sometimes, you know, you're just like, where, where, where does grade come from? There we go. David put it perfectly. Perfect. SGC is all about centering front and back from what I've seen. Yeah, I agree. That That is exactly what I'm seeing right now. It's it's crazy how much they take into account because this could have been a PSA 10, you know, because I remember seeing this and there's no surface issues, right? And like, you know, they have the 60-40 rule with PSA. I guess SGC really, really cares about uh, centering. I'm trying to see what else I got that maybe have good centering. Like some of these tens right here, right? See, this is slightly off centered, top to bottom, left to right. You see how it's kind of like off centered. So remember, this I didn't see any issues with these. Yeah, and it's like, and you see the back is pretty bad. So one thing about PSA, they don't really grade the back as much. All right, let's see. What is the cheapest? cheapest PSA submission level at the moment it is express submission so you could either do it yourself which is I believe two hundred dollars we offer it for two hundred twenty five dollars um, unfortunately no one really gets a, a discount on those so any other questions before I sign off um, not too bad of submissions still really happy with some of these grades really happy I mean I'm I am really impressed about this sticker though yo Anthony if you if you're in here man like listen if you have a price let me know, dude. I might, I might be, I might try to cop this. Honestly, this looks insane. Yeah, what else? Yeah, let me see. And this Puskas right here. Oh, Andy said, so, "Hey, Andy's up here." Okay, true, true. <laughs> hey, there we go, Andy. I got you. I got you. I got. I gotta see what you got here. Uh, and then let's look at this Puskas right here. This Puskas is sick. If anybody has Puskas, let me know. I'm, I'm looking to buy as well. I guess this is like an advertisement about why I want right now. Um, hold on. Okay. So I got I got a few more things. All right. Who should I grade with? Got a 2021 National Messi Squares 10 out of 10. Oh, wow. Jersey number two. That's good stuff. Look at the – I'm not so familiar with the National VIP cards, but they don't go for as much as you would think they should go. So check those out. And if it's good resale value or a good value in general, um, go with PSA. If not, then just hit up SUC. What do you think about the Panini Gold WC 2006? If you get if you could gem some of those, that would be insane. Because I've seen some of those. It's hard to find one in good condition. Um, but I bet you there's a lot of those out there. So if you're first to market, congratulations. Thoughts on WCCF cards from Japan? I like them, but I'm not buying them. Like maybe for a collector's perspective, maybe. And last one, Anthony asks, is the top Smerlin set going to be an iconic? Uh, maybe only for the players, only the players that just got their rookie cards. Like, for example, let me see some of the cards I've been picking up. So, like, if Gar Gabrielle Martinelli ends up becoming great or Shabby Simons, right? Let me see. Shabby Simons, I have him here somewhere. I don't know. He's here somewhere. But yeah, Shabby Simons, like these guys that just got their first card, because I know he has a sticker. In that year, that could probably be it. I think of iconic, but for other players, mm, I don't think so. 2021 mega cracks in this day, possibly. I haven't done my research on it yet. I'm sorry, Pedro. Only for certain players, marks only for certain players. All right. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. That would mean the world to us. And we're starting to get finally get settled down after National. I, I just can't believe how much has happened after National. So we're going to have more content for y'all. And congratulations to everyone that, you know, submitted and trusted us. So thank you so much. Love you guys.